guys, dancers of YouTube. Welcome back for another Technical Tuesday. Today we're going to be adding a little bit more to our outside closed mohawk. We have a few exercises for you to help improve the transition of weight through the turn, taking it stage by stage. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe because we're going to keep delving a little deeper into each of our turns. All right, so with no further ado, from the lovely sunny exterior of Lee Valley Ice Center, let's get cracking. Our first drill will focus on shapes. Skate side lead on a gentle forward outside edge with a soft bouncing knee. Hips facing out of the circle slightly with a moderate 90 degree turnout creating a diamond shaped window between the legs. Remember our shy toe from previous videos? He's still hiding back there. Also your kneecap pointing out of the circle will tell you you've got your 90 degree turnout. You'll know you've mastered these shapes when you can hold them steady as you gently rise and fall on the skating knee. Our next exercise is based on a push technique used in school figures. Here I'm showing you the start position of the feet from two different angles so you can get a clearer picture. And now for a little demonstration before we talk through the details. So let's set up. We're aiming for a 90 degree angle at the feet, a generous bend in the knees with the shoulders agreeing with your skating foot. Maintaining this alignment is so important we should test it out with a couple of bends first. And notice as we glide away that shape is maintained. The push is achieved by pressing into the outside edge and extending away the knee and ankle. Remember in our first video we talked about the idea of a broom sweeping the dust along the floor. In our third drill we're going to learn to maintain 90 degrees at the feet as we twist. This can be practiced close to the barrier initially for safety. And once you feel comfortable with the twist you can add the point. Twist away, twist back, and point. Our fourth drill takes those shapes and makes them travel. We start by stepping onto the left in a straight line. Shy toe, twist and release the free foot. Your shoulder line should agree with your direction of travel. To increase the challenge, we'll try that on a slight curve. And to achieve that, we'll need a gentle lean into the circle. Stepping forwards, slight curve, twist, release. And now we're going to join it all up. Skate side lead, chewy bendy knees, shy toe, twist and release. Don't forget to practice both sides because we want to develop our control and turnout equally. And here in super slow motion for all the details, we've got our 90 degree angle, shy toe hiding, knee action, down and up, seeing that diamond shape, window between the knees, shoulders agreeing with our skating direction. We're gonna prepare as we bend to twist and introduce the new foot to the floor, sweeping away the original foot and checking into alignment for the finish. A little side note for competitors, really try to keep your little toe side down during the twist and release to nail those levels on your outside mohawks. Thanks for joining us for Outside Mohawks Part 2 today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for our freshest content. We love to see your comments coming in. Please keep them coming. And remember, if you've got any skating buddies who would benefit from this, do share. But only if you really like them.